Hey guys, <laughs> what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I want to talk about FPGAs and profitability on different miners right now. And there is this awesome website called FPGA.guide. Okay, uh, this is not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to showcase this website because it has a lot of great information. Uh, for people who are wanting to get into FPGA mining or uh, anything like that. So it's it has a lot of different tools, um, a lot of different software stuff as well for um, like downloading bitstreams and it shows there's a tab for like you know all the different hardwares, the different companies like Xilinx, Squirrel, uh, Bitware, um, TUL, uh, Hash Altcoin and some others. And they also have like water cooling, air cooling, immersion cooling um, stuff here. Uh, let's just see where it, what, what happens here. Oh, look at this. Uh, $2,000, 2x faster payback, refurbished BTU9P. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, register now and win the chance. Seven days and 12 hours. Wow. I'm going to sign up for this. I want to win a BTU9P. Heck yeah. Congratulations. You have a chance to buy a... Oh! Wait a second. I have to pay $2,000 to buy the BTU 9P. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, if you guys want to do that, give it a try. Uh, anyways, yeah, the water cooling for FPGA boards, it looks like they have a lot of information here for that. And pretty cool, pretty cool. But anyways, uh, the main thing I want to talk about in this video is the profitability. So we're using the FPGA.guide website here. And as you guys can see on their front page, they have a couple of different FPGAs here. They have the F1 Plus Black Miner, which I think is very popular. Uh, the F1 Black Miner, the F1 Mini, and they have a refurbished BCU 1525 and refurbished BTU 9P. Uh, in terms of, it looks like these are in terms of profitability in order. So, as you guys can see, the Black Miner F1, it makes about $7.86 a day uh, as of making this video, and apparently the payback is in 299 days. So, less than a year, that's, that's pretty good. I think that's better than most video cards right now. Uh, I think I calculated a 1080 Ti, okay? 1080 Ti at 10 cents a kilowatt hour at the moment, 88 cents mining the new beam algorithm, hash, beam hash 2 algorithm. Um, it's about, uh, if you buy a 1080 Ti at around 400 to 450 USD, your payback, your ROI is about 17 months, okay? So 517 days. So that's just a comparison of the uh, profitability between a 1080 Ti and a black miner. But and a, a cool thing to note that on FPGA.guide, it shows here that they update the profitability every day. So this is as of making this video, <laughs> August 16th. And you can see here, uh, let's, let's, go in, let's go in and see what coin is profitable on the Black Miner F1 Plus. So it shows here on the Bitstream, okay, the algorithm BSHA3D, okay, the coin, SHA3D. Um, at the hash rate of 13.6 gigahash at 1,020 watts looks like the most profitable coin at the moment on this Black Miner F1 Plus, uh, which costs $2,350. And now let's just go ahead and see where and how they can figure out this profitability. So I was looking at Coin Market Cap, and they don't have this B SHA 3 coin on there. But I went to mining pool stats, uh, mining pool stats .stream, and they show the B3, uh, the B SHA uh, 3 coin here. And at the moment, it looks like there's only like, what, 66 different people mining on this B SHA algorithm, or B SHA coin. And uh, whether that be that one person has one black miner or hundreds or thousands of black miners per address, right? This is based on per address. Uh, but it, as you guys can see, it looks like it's been, this is pretty Chinese dominated right now. Chinese dominated coin. And it looks like the BSHA-3 exchange 
are the exchanges for the trading. It looks like to be on Citex.io, Citex.io. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I've never heard of this exchange before. And the pairing it looks like BSHA3 to BTC and then BSHA3 to Ethereum as well. So it looks like the volume is uh, 195,000, 182,000. Not too bad. I mean, a small low cap coin and apparently is profitable um, if you were mining into Bitcoin. So, and funny, uh, not funny, but also awesome thing to look at is that this Black Miner F1 can mine a bunch of different other coins, right? And of course, it's 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 cool to see that this black miner or FPGAs in general are able to mine all of these different coins. Man, it, it's kind of like a, it's kind of a pretty nice proposition to buy one of these and get into FPGA mining, uh, if you guys were wanting to, uh, compared to buying like you know, two or let's see, so twenty three hundred two two thousand three hundred fifty dollars for a black miner. And I said it was about $450 to $400 USD for a 1080 Ti, which makes only about 88 cents a day or 74 cents a day. But right now, the Black Miner F1 Plus makes $7.86 a day. So how many 1080 Ti's at the moment do you have to buy to get this profitability, as a, same as an F1 Black Miner? But then again, you also have to keep up with the profitability on the Black Miner or the FPGAs and you have to sign up on pretty unknown exchanges and trade your BSHA3 into Bitcoin and you have to keep up with it, right? You have to, you have to be pretty on top of uh, these, these FPGA profitabilities, which I think, you know, some people have a lot of time for. I unfortunately cannot do this kind of mining. Uh, with FPGAs and keep up with the profitability and doing all this exchanges. Uh, it's just not my kind of style. I don't really have time to do that, but maybe some of you guys do. And it could be a nice proposition for you guys or a nice incentive for you guys to do this. Uh, it just You just have to put in some time uh, into getting this all set up and and mining. I think it must be pretty easy to set up now because they have a lot of information on how to and all that kind of stuff. As well, uh, I think the FPGA got FPGA guide is not the only website that does uh, FPGA stuff, but also Zethron Technologies. They also have if you have like the BCU 1525s or uh, let's see here the other 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 profitable FPGA miners, uh, Bitware, CVP 13, Crunch Labs MAX1, the TL the TU, T, TUL BTU 9P, which I showed before. They got a lot of different models here, but on Zethron Technologies website, they also show, you know, they have a bunch of bitstreams that are available uh, on the various uh, different FPGAs, and it looks like they got the X16R Ravencoin one, which will come in spring 2019, so that's pretty cool, and oh, look at this, <laughs> the technicals is on their uh, installation and operating instruction uh, video here for the, for the VCU 1525. Ah, oh, the technicals. I miss the technicals. Do you guys miss him? I, I wish uh, I wish he'll come back and make some videos soon. I miss the guy. I still watch his videos from time to time. Anyways, um, oh, good old Matt. Look at his look at his smug face right there holding a uh, VCU 1525. Anyways, uh, guys, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about, and uh, let me know what you think about FPGA mining and uh, maybe possibly getting one of these FPGAs uh, on my channel uh, for mining. I, I it, it seems it, it seems pretty cool. Um, I do have an FPGA. I have an Atom miner, which I I just haven't had much time to create content for because I I've been meaning to get a Raspberry Pi. To um, hook up the atom miner because it's such low pro low um, power consumption and it, it really doesn't need that much resources to mine. So uh, one of these days I will I will get my atom miner and I'll get the profitability for that. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Come check out FPGA.guy. This, this looks like one of the best websites to learn about FPGAs. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.